Hey, welcome back everyone. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and I wanted to share with you about ink fingerprinting. I know I talk about this quite a bit on, uh, well, fingerprinting in, generally, in general on Clubhouse. And I had a fingerprinting class this last week and I spoke to somebody that talked about printing the on the fingerprint cards. So I'm talking about these, these FD258 cards. And there's my information I printed on there. So I went, I went, I went and said, hey, you know, I should be doing that as a service. You know, get, people give me the information. I make them fill it out. It's kind of crappy how they fill it out. If I have them fill it out, if I fill it out, it's the same thing. It's not as clean as if you print it out. So of course, as a notary and loan signing agent, I have plenty of printers and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this happen. So I've been playing around with it today. I, it's not, not quite perfect, but it's good enough for government work. I can get this to uh, work for me. The, the date. So let me just show you what I have here. So I have this template that I downloaded from the FBI. And here it is. So here's, uh, you fill in the information, your na the person's name, their address and the date and so forth, all their basic information. So I have, so what's happening is I printed and the, it cut off the five of my uh, address. So I spaced that out. So all the way to the end. So that will probably print just fine. But the only field I have on the left side here that's an issue is this date field. It cuts off the nine here. So I figure, hey, I can just leave that blank. I can handwrite that in no problem or handwrite the, the mi missing number that didn't print. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you that um, they do have this template out there. If you do do ink fingerprinting, you can set up your printer to print these out, get the information, and you can... You know, I wouldn't say charge more, but um, I guess if you're doing multiple cards instead of them, like I did somebody, they had six cards. And if I had gotten their information and printed all the cards out, I could have just showed up, rolled their prints and said, okay, you're done. Um, instead of waiting, you know, 15, 20 minutes for them to fill out all the cards. So that's, that's what I'm looking to do. So I, I have that dialed into my printer. I use a Lexmark printer, uh, which gives capabilities that may some other uh, printers don't give like Brother. I haven't tried the Brother. I don't know if it will work. I have plenty of Brothers, but I haven't tried it. Uh, but here's, let me go over the settings here. So if you do attempt it, you don't have to go through all the work that I had. So, when, before you go to print, okay, just note that if you just print this the way it is, it's going to actually print everything, okay? And you don't want it to print everything. I did that the first time. This is the card. Uh, I know you can't really see, but it's all black, and that's overlaid on the blue card that you that's already pre-printed, so you don't want to do that. So it's, it's not, doesn't line up quite right. So what you do to accommodate that is when you feed in these pre-printed cards you go to adobe you go down to comments and and forms and you put form fields only okay so this is for a regular adobe acrobat you cannot use the reader version it doesn't have that capability okay so there is i've heard i read something where there's something you can do the file to make it do that but I haven't done it yet, and I don't know if I will. Um, I might think about it if I want to cancel my Adobe subscription, but for now I have this subscription, so this is what you do. So you get that set up, you go to properties here, and you set up your printer. So I went to printer and finishing. And I picked a paper size. Okay, so I created a paper size for FD258. 
And this is how you do manage custom sizes. I hit no new and then created the size. It's an eight by eight inch uh, document. And you select that. I put use full printable area because I thought that that could help. It didn't help. And I selected uh, to pick from the feeder because I didn't want to put it in my tray. But you can set up one of your trays to put put those uh, those cards in there. You know, and I don't know if it will print better if I put it in the tray versus the feeder. So I have to try that to see if it will make a difference as far as printing properly. Um, but I'm I'm using the feeder because I'm thinking, you know, I do one or two cards. I don't want to take all my paper out, put these cards in just to print two cards and then have to take everything out. So that's the reason for the feeder. So I selected that quality. OK, I'm set for you can set whatever you want. I mean, they, these are all defaults. OK, 1200 DPI. OK, and then you say, OK. OK, and you see over here, when you look at your picture, it's just the stuff I typed in. So that will mean when I hit print, it will only print the information that is on the card. OK, or the information from the document will only print on the card. I won't get all the other layout format information because I selected form fields only. OK, so that is important. Uh, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I I think that that is the that is awesome that you can do that. And so now I'm going to since I do everything, I get people that book me online on my website. I'm actually going to ask for that information in my form, all their pertinent information, and I will say, uh, do you want me to print your fingerprint cards out if they say yes okay then you'll need to fill all this information out and provide it i probably won't ask them to provide their social security number because people are kind of weird about providing that that's fine um but all the other information they should be willing to provide if they do have a problem with it then they can say no they're going to provide their own cards and print it out or or fill out their own card or whatever, however they're going to do it. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope that this information has been beneficial to you. If you aren't doing fingerprinting, ink fingerprinting at least, jump in, jump on board, put it as a service, even if you don't uh, have people calling you today about it, put it on there. You know, maybe you'll get one or two people calling you in the next few months and then you can make a little extra money okay and then you can obviously move on to other things like biometric printing which is live scan and if you want to dive in and do more of a business with your fingerprinting uh, so that's it that's all i wanted to share with you have a great weekend everyone